Hello everybody, and today we are going to be looking at a Renaissance etching. This is Battle of the Nudes that was painted by Antonio del Paloelo in 1465. Paloelo was actually born in Florence during the early Renaissance, and he was contemporary with some of, some of the Renaissance giants such as Cosimo and Lorenzo de' Medici, as well as innovative artists such as Ghiberti, Botticelli, if any of you know The Birth of Venus, Brunelleschi, and Campan and Van Eyck in the north. During the Renaissance, there was a great focus on humanism, and that was a focus or belief in human accomplishment and the ability of the human mind. And here is just a couple of pictures of Florence, which is where the Renaissance basically was born. And Paloelo's brother Pierre was also a humanist. Paloelo moved to Rome in 1484, and he worked for Pope Sixtus IV, and he was an, an engraver for him. He was also a painter and sculptor. In characteristic of the Southern early Renaissance, there are realistic bodies, an interest in human anatomy and accomplishment, more or more or less an attempt at perspective, and it was moderately successful. Architecture or ideals from ancient Roman Greece, beauty and idealism, and a triangular composition. And for example, Michelangelo thought that one could see the divine through beauty. And also, the Renaissance marked the growth of the middle class and also important patronage, such as the Medici, Gonzaga, and the Montefeltro families. And here's just a tomb that Paloelo completed for Pope Innocent VIII. And also, as for the work of Battle of the Nudes, it's the only surviving engraving of Paloelo. Although, for example, his sculpture still remain, and I think another painting of his still remains as well. This etching is the archetype for the Renaissance. You see the same figures repeated in symmetrical composition. It's very orderly. You have two groups of men on the ground mirroring each other. And most prominent, you have the two identical flip men in the foreground forming a sort of V. And so this reflects the Renaissance interest in mathematical clarity and symmetry. And also the uh, Renaissance like the logic and the reason of the Greeks. The figures have ideal muscular bodies. And this harkens back to classical sculptors and the ideal man is a measure of all things. And if you think of Polyclitus' spear bear or the Critios boy, this is kind of what these bodies are modeled after. And it also shows off the skill of the artist in depicting humans, which is a humanist ideal because Paloelo was trying to get business through showing off what he could do. Also humanist is that Paloelo signed his name. On the sign in the middle left, you can see right behind one of the men who's shooting. And this reflects the rise of the middle class and the new technology, and really the artist as an actual occupation. He can make money. He wasn't just a mere craftsman because these engravings could be mass produced and sold commercially, so he would get more money. As for the subjects, they're not figures from history, mythology, religion. It's really just an engraving of naked men, and it's more freedom for the artist because that's just what Paloelo wanted to depict. And as for the facial expressions, they aren't that concerned, although they're engaging, and it looks like a dangerous and arduous battle. They're idealized, or at least their expressions are. For example, look at the figures on the bottom right. They are fighting each other, engaged in combat, yet they have rather uh, serene or unconcerned expressions on their face. And there's also a sense of ground in mass. There's not the floating, unreachable, and aloof icons of the Byzantine era with the gold backgrounds and no perspective whatsoever. Because by contrast, to this edging here, there's some perspective in the corn stalks behind. And this reflects new interest in depicting objects accurately and of this world. So thanks for watching and watch out for my other videos. Everybody, and today we are going to be comparing and contrasting the Arch of Titus and the Church of San Andrea. So the picture you see here is of the Arch of Titus. It was built in 82 CE and is located in Rome. And during this time, Rome was very luxurious and very powerful, especially the empire. And the Roman citizens were actually excluded from paying taxes that those who lived in the outlying provinces had to pay. The arch is in the Roman form, which was basically the center of Rome, where politics, not religion.